everybody and welcome to our channel in today's video we're going to show you how you can use flight team builder g1000 with a really great and free add-on called um, moby flight you probably heard about it you can use moby flight with uh, with flight team builder devices and the reason why you can do it so easily it's all of the flight team builder devices they basically work as a joystick um, and you will see how, how it looks in windows and uh, how you can actually uh, basically use this add-on to map it to any function in your fl uh, flight sim. So today we're gonna use uh, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and we will map G1000 to uh, G3000 in TBM. Uh, so again, just, just one of the examples. We'll also try to do a little more, map some of the autopilot uh, functions and kind of show you how you can map to almost like 6,000 something uh, different functions which uh, MobiFlight expose and basically make it available for you to map and with the uh, Flight Sim Builder devices, all of them really customizable, they work kind of out of box, but if you wanna take it to the next level or let's say you wanna use it with the plane which doesn't have G1000 but has some different avionics, you can actually do a lot of this uh, customization and then uh, and utilize it for all of the different types of planes. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so today we're gonna use uh, Flight Sim Builder G1000 and we will program it to be uh, G3000 in TBM plane, uh, but you can also use it for, let's say, Flight Sim Builder G NS530 and program it to be, let's say, G1000 or maybe, you know, something else. So it, it can work by itself as a, a GNS 530 or 430, 430, but I know some people used it and programmed it to some of the uh, G1000 uh, features and, and so on. So, all right. Then next, we're gonna go to the MobiFlight website uh, and it's again, great, great community, great development. So uh, make sure you support Sebastian, the developer, and, uh, and there's a lot of, there's a forum Discord, so a lot of cool things. All right, so first let's download the version 9.4.0 and we have it in downloads. I created a subfolder because I don't want it to be extracted here. So one thing, if I double click now, it's gonna just extract it in this folder. Uh, so uh, I'll put it in the Mobi folder. One thing, one time I, I named it Mobi Flight and it didn't work for me. It couldn't connect to the sim, but maybe there was something else, but uh, yeah. Mobi, Mobi should work. We'll double click on it. It's gonna download um, the files. And all right, now we have our Mobi flight screen. And here you can see there's a pretty simple layout, easy to follow. There's uh, two tabs, one is for output and one for the input. So output you can use to, um, to basically read some of the uh, variables or from the sim and basically control external device for example you can connect the light and then once in the sim let's say your landing gear is locked you can turn that light on so this is what you'll use the output tab if it's something you're interested uh, just you know comment below and we'll make a video uh, but today we're gonna go to input tab because we're gonna be using the G1000 uh, unit to map it basically to um, to uh, G3000, right? So, all right, so first you need to do it's to basically start, uh, start adding the different buttons or presses you wanna map. So we'll start with uh, G3000 uh, soft key one. So if you look at G3000, it doesn't have all of the buttons on the left. It doesn't have all of the buttons on the right but it has the soft keys here, right? So this is what we're gonna map. We're gonna map this G1000 basically unit soft keys to G3000 and it also has 12, the same number of keys. So it's gonna work pretty well. All right, so the G3000 soft key one, then we click on these three buttons and here you have three tabs. We go to input tab and then for module, we select flight sim builder G3000. This is just list of your joystick, right? So if you have another device, you can also use and map something from your Bravo, for example, throttle, right? But uh, we'll use G1000. And when it says device here, this is actually the button. 
So how do I find it? Um, I use this little utility. It's a pointy joystick test, which shows you like if I press on something, shows you what button. It's kind of similar to what Windows joystick controller has, but Windows joystick controllers only goes to 32 buttons and we have more here. So that's why this is a great tool, right? So if I press on this, I know it's a button 22. So I'll just go ahead and select here button 22. So then there's the two options, what's to do on press or on release. So we will do on press action type. Uh, we do in the flight team 2020. And here you have different options, how to find the function. So now you basically have a choice of selecting 6,265 different functions. So <laughs> quite a lot. We can filter by vendor, by aircraft, by system. So that's what we'll do. We'll use avionics as a filter. Now it's only 829. Uh, and here, again, I don't need G1000. I need G3000, PFD, soft keys one. All right, click OK. Next thing you need to do is make sure you activate it. So if you don't press this button, it's not going to work in the sim. Um, but now I can right click on it, right click and duplicate row and do soft key two. So instead of doing all of this, I'll just basically copy it. Then soft key two, it's button 23. Okay. And change it to soft keys two. Duplicate three, 24, three, Duplicate four. Okay, interesting. So it went from twenty four to thirty. So good to know. But everything else, it just go. Yeah, all right. So I can just go from here and just indent. So thirty key four. Duplicate key five. All right, great, so we'll save it. Um, you can save the config to save as on on, uh, on your desktop or somewhere else, and then you can go and uh, you know share it. But uh, let's go to the sim and actually test it out and then map maybe something else. All right, so now we are in the sim in this beautiful TBM, great plane, great avionics, pleasure to fly. So first of all, we're gonna pop out the G3000 and put it on our G1000 unit. All right. And next, uh, if I press any buttons now, nothing is working. And you're asking why. So if you go back to the mobile flight connector, so first we need to check the SIM status is connected. So it's green, all good. And second, we need to press run. So once it runs, it's running. Um, and now if I go back to the sim and press the buttons, here you go, now it's working. So the map, zoom in, in zoom in out, PFD settings doesn't work. So, but if I press in the sim, the same thing. So I guess it's not yet done. Uh, traffic inserts the same PFD settings. All right. Yeah. I can select what I want to do as a bearing one. So let's say I want to do GPS and I want to have a uh, nav one here. Perfect. Other settings, altitude units, and go off attack. Cool. So, um, OBS, and then here I can select uh, different nav modes. Let's leave it as uh, on GPS. All right, as you can see, it's working. It's also aligned really nicely since it's also 12 soft keys, so all looking good. But uh, let's see what else we can do. Um, we have all of the autopilot buttons here and in the TBM, they're actually on a different uh, section of the panel, but it doesn't mean we can't map to it, right? So let's do it. So let's open our joystick. Let's find it's button 10. So let's call it AP for autopilot module PFD. Again, 
button 10 and uh, flight sim 2020. So here I'll just search for autopilot. And uh, here I can go and uh, select autopilot, um, autopilot master. All right, so when I select it, I even see a little description say toggles autopilot on and off exactly what we need. Let's make sure we activate it and let's press it. And look at this, our autopilot's going on and off here and we have annunciation on the panel as well. Beautiful. What's next? Heading. So headings, um, let's do heading decrease. So with encoders, it's a little bit different. So if I rotate it to the left, it's seven. To the right, it's eight. If I press it, it's nine. So it's three buttons basically. Uh, so left is seven. So head and decrease, we'll select button seven. And here, I'll just search for heading. Um, and I actually know if you use the default heading and increase decrease, it doesn't work for G3000. Uh, but we will try it and just to see. So heading decrease, right? So if I select it, activate it, rotate it, it doesn't work, right? So what we need to do, we actually need to go to avionics or so reset and then select system avionics and then here in G1000 because in G3000 you're not gonna see any heading <laughs> so I guess the Microsoft sim guys they decided to just use the G1000 heading uh, functions so we can use heading decrease or this is also heading decrease fast which is I like more because it's gonna skip a couple of degrees but it's gonna be much better actually to use so we'll do this and we'll test it all right heading is moving left I'll duplicate it called it uh, increase and select here button 8 and increase and as you can see here the actual command is here too so I guess if you change it 5 to 3 it's going to be not as fast, not as, yeah, so we can do that. So, all right, now it works both way by hitting 310, hitting 310. All right, excellent. So now I have my autopilot and have my heading. Uh, what else we can map? Um, so I know these two buttons, uh, sorry, these two knobs, I'm not sure what's they doing. So if anybody knows who flies this plane, let me know. But the bottom on the bottom, if you're in the MFD mode, so you press this and it doesn't do anything in the uh, MFD, but in the PFD, but in the MFD, it basically uh, do the zoom. So we can map it here and then we're gonna control our MFD screen as well. So why not, right? So we'll call it um, bottom, um, decrease and uh, we need our pointy so it's 27 28 27 and again here avionics and then so it's s3000 horizontal bottom bottom knob small decrease all right activate and then duplicate and we'll make this increase change the button to 28 and change this one to increase all right and look at this now i basically control with this button my mfd i have my heading I have my autopilot, I have the soft keys, um, yeah, pr pretty cool, right? So I can continue mapping my GPS, uh, let me know if any other things comes in mind, 
but uh yeah definitely there's uh quite a few things we can map we have all of these snaps not used right so uh, we can definitely utilize them maybe do this one for you know this one for com this one for nav kind of similar how it's an ng1000 and yeah it's gonna be pretty cool to fly so uh, i hope you really liked it and uh, again this is kind of a series of more educational videos or how you can customize and use our unit with uh, different add-ons and kind of expand your um, functionality uh, again we, we try to make this uh, as uh, easy as possible to follow but at the same time kind of uh, give you idea of what different things you can do so you can explore so um, if uh, if you have any questions if any of this didn't make sense or you want to see something and uh, something else in more details please let me know comment below and uh, yeah like subscribe and i hope you see it on our next video uh, happy flying and i see you next time